I have an older dog, Madison, and I was just looking for something to do, so I took her to um, a dog training place just to brush up on her obedience and got to know the instructor pretty well, and she said, um, Deb, why don't you and Madison sign up for our new agility course that we're starting? And I was like, well, what's agility? I had no idea what it was, and so she talked me into giving it a try, and we were hooked after our first class, so I learned how to do everything with my first dog, Madison, and then bought uh, my current dog, Spencer, um, and he's turned out to be a very good agility dog, and we travel all around competing, and we've learned quite a bit along the way, and it's just a very exciting sport. You meet a lot of cool people, and get to go to a lot of neat places like South Africa. As we've gone through training, um, I go and train with a um, person that's been on the world team. Um, she offers seminars and private lessons, so I've trained with her and looked on the website when they had tryouts for the world team and asked her if she thought Spencer and I would be good enough to try out this year. And she said, yes, I think you've got the experience. And so we tried it and ended up do being successful and um, getting a spot in the team and here we are. I train Spencer three or four times a week. Um, I go to private lessons, we'll have the world team um, practice and then I also am continuing to compete with him to stay sharp and um, in competition mode so um, we have a few competitions throughout June and July that we'll be competing in as well. I just think there's a lot of different types of things that you can do with your dogs. Um, there's rally, there's um, herding, agility, obedience, um, there's a lot of different things you know that you're you can do and it's fun to do with your dogs and um, just building a relationship with them that's the fun part of it